Hey everyone, today we're learning two primary ways of coiling rope, which is useful for storing or carrying rope. Now most climbers prefer one over the other, but it is useful to know both as well as the pros and cons of each. Now those two coils are the mountaineer's coil and the butterfly coil. The mountaineer's coil fits really nicely over a large pack, but it introduces kinks into the rope. The butterfly coil doesn't twist the rope as much, or really nearly at all, but it doesn't fit as quite as nicely over a large pack. However, if you're not burdened by a lot of gear, it can be modified into a type of hiking pack that fits really nicely over the shoulders. Now before the rope is coiled, we need to get out all the tangles. And we do that with a process called flaking. So when we flake the rope, first we take the bundle of rope, we put it in a spot, and then we take one end of the rope and we will pull it over our shoulder. And then we'll start to pull that length of rope over our shoulder so that it falls down in front of us in a nice neat pile and the rope continually falls down upon itself uh, as I pull the rope over my shoulder. And if there are any kinks or tangles in the line uh, as I'm flaking the rope, I can stop, give the rope a nice little shake, pull the kinks out, and resume. Now that the rope's been flaked, we can start with the mountaineering coil. First, we take one end of the rope, we'll hold it in our hand, and to get started, we'll just loop the rope around our shoulder a few times and then we can let go of the end of the rope and just hold on to one of the loops. And then from there we'll just start to coil the rope around our shoulders and it takes a little bit of practice but you start to get the hang of it. Once we're done wrapping the rope it's time to finish the coil so we'll remove it from the top of our neck and then we want to find where both ends of the coil are. I'm going to turn this rope around. And so here we have one, and then here we have the starting one that I, I held in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the first strand that I started with in the beginning so that it forms somewhat of a loop here. And then I'm going to take the other end of the rope, and then I'm going to start to pass it through the coil, like so. And notice that as I'm doing that, it's getting, I'm wrapping uh, the doubled over strand. And I'm getting closer and closer to the doubled over strand. So now, here's the, a loop that is formed by the doubled over strand. I'm going to pass the other end of the rope through that loop, like so. And then I'm going to grab the loose end of the part that was doubled over, and I'm going to pull it through. and I'm left with two ends here and then I can finish this coil with a square knot. Like so. Next we have the butterfly coil and remember the main advantage to the butterfly coil is it doesn't introduce kinks into the rope and it can be modified to fit over the shoulders nicely like a hiking pack. Now there's two ways you can coil a rope like this. One is from starting from one end of the rope. The other is from starting at the midpoint of the rope. If we're starting from one end of the rope, we simply grab the end of the rope with one hand, and then we're gonna measure out full arm length of the rope, and we'll do that about twice. That's to make sure that we have enough length at the end of the coil to make a little hiking pack out of. Then I'm gonna measure out the rope once more. It's in both hands put it around the, the back of my head, and then I'm going to pass the long end of the rope from one hand to the next, and stretch it out behind my head. And I'll keep this up until the long end of the rope is only about as long as that first part that I measured out, about two arm lengths. And in order to make sure the long end of the rope is about the same length as that first part that we measured out, you just kind of have to eyeball it as you near the end. And you can stop and grab both loose ends of the rope and pull them through to see if they're relatively the same length. And, and right now, about now they are. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this coil. And you should see a nice horseshoe kind of around your neck. 
Now this part can be tricky if you just lean forward, put your hands underneath the coil, and then you can dismount the coil onto your arms. And so now the coil is like a horseshoe over my arm. I'm going to grab both lo loose ends of the rope, and I'm just going to coil, uh, wrap the coil with the loose ends, maybe three or four times. And then with these, uh, the, the loose end of the rope, I'm then going to pass it through the coil so that I have a loop. Now I have a loop that passes through the coil with the loose ends, and then I'm going to grab this end and pass it through the loop. And once that's been passed through the loop, you can then tighten it down. And the butterfly coil at this point is complete, and you have two long ends that come out about the same length as what we measured out in the beginning. At this point, if I want to make the hiking pack, I can simply put the coil around my back nice and snug, and I'll draw the two ends, which become shoulder straps, over the front of my body. And then with holding the two ends low, I then pass them around my back and switch hands, like so. And this time I'll bring them around the front, crisscross them, and now I can fasten this coil to my body with a square knot. And the butterfly coil is complete, and it now resembles a hiking pack, and I can carry this along through the woods or up the mountain, wherever I wish. The other way to wrap the butterfly coil is starting at the midpoint of the rope. And here we've indicated the midpoint of the rope with a blue highlighter. Create a bend at the midpoint of the rope, pass your hand through it, and then draw both long ends of the rope through the length of your arms and behind your neck. And here, just as we did before, we'll pass the rope from one hand to the next, except this time we're doing it with both ends at once instead of one strand of the rope. If you encounter any kinks along the way, you can work them out. And you'll do this until you have about two lengths of, your, of the rope left that are equal to about two lengths of your arm. And from here, you can finish the butterfly coil just as you did before.